I thought I'd make a video today of some desert iguanas I have hatching. This is an exciting event for me because I've never hatched desert iguanas before. Uh, so let's take a look at these little lizards. These guys are native to uh, the warmest parts of the southwest United States. They live in the deserts, which is why they're called desert iguanas. They're kind of famous for being able to take a lot of heat. They're, they're one of the lizards that's the most active during the hottest parts of the day, even when the temperatures are up like 120, 130 on the surface, they're still out walking around uh, in nature. So we've got four of them in here. And again, you can see we've got nice white eggs. As a someone who breeds lizards, I'm always interested in looking at the eggs and seeing how I'm doing with the with the health of the female. Is she getting the things that she needs? It looks like they buried one of the eggs in there somewhere. But uh, I thought it might be kind of fun. Let me pick one of these guys up. We'll take a closer look and then uh, maybe we'll uh, we'll see if we can sex these guys using the light method that I use. One of the other neat things about these guys is they're herbivorous. They eat a little bit of insects, but mostly they eat plant matter. And I'm, I'm amazed at the size of these babies. These are one of the largest uh, babies in comparison to the size of the mother that I've ever hatched from any lizard species. Um, let, me, let me go get the mother and we'll just take a quick, make a little quick size comparison. Here's the mother, and this is her newly hatched baby. It's amazing that she had, she had originally five eggs. One of the eggs went bad, but we had five eggs in her. And uh, these babies came out this large. Usually other species of lizards about this size would have babies about a, one half to one third of the size of this baby here. So they make really big babies. I'm just kind of amazed. Okay, so I actually, I just looked at these guys trying to find out, you know, can I use my my little pen light to, to sex them like I do m many of my other lizards, and I couldn't find any hemipenes in any of them. So either that means I can't use that method for this species, which may be the case. I've never hatched these before, like I said, or it may be that uh, these are all females. I don't know. Time will tell. I guess we'll find out at some point in the future. So stay tuned, maybe in another year or two, we'll know for sure what these are. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe below. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.